This time on Sketchy Questions, I'll show you how I structure my models in Google SketchUp. There was a lot of interest in another video I made about how exactly it is that I'm able to look at my model in this way, and I use components, groups, layers, scenes, everything uh, to do that. Uh, in this version of this file, I don't actually have the scene set up, so I can't show you that, but uh, what I will show you will confuse you enough anyway. So let's start off here uh, by opening up the Outliner and the Layers dialog box, and you can start to see in my Outliner, I had three groups, main groups, Entourage, Structure, and Interior, and you can see there's many more things within them. It's all hidden though. This is the current way to do this. Uh, if I expand them all, you can see it's uh, a mile long at least, possibly two. Uh, it gets a little bit disorderly at that stage. So uh, let's go back up to the top of the outliner there and right click and collapse all uh, so I've got uh, some layers here six layers uh, one of them called surround I'm gonna quickly color by layer just so you get sort of an idea so everything that's the same color is on the same layer and I can turn these on and off easily just with the click of the mouse so that's the surround, which is in the entourage group, as well as this plot layer here, which is the plot that the house sits on. So I can hide everything but the house, which is the way I usually work. And uh, I like to hide the walls. It's a, I have a group, subgroup under the uh, structure group called walls. I hide the walls. And now you can see, because the interior is still on, there's the group interior is still on, it's not hidden, I can see just the interior. The floors are still displayed also. And uh, using the uh, layers tool again, maybe I uh, only want to look at the first floor. So I can just toggle those floors on and off again, easily with the click of the mouse, till I see just the first floor. And I can go in and check out my TV. And because I've hidden everything else, it makes it very easy to check out your components. Maybe I uh, want to edit this little shelving unit over here. I can find it easily. It's easy to work on it. And you can see here in the outliner, like, sort of how deeply nested these components are at this point. Uh, it's a little bit obsessive, honestly. So maybe uh, I want to see the second floor. Again, you can just toggle the layers on and off. Look around, see what you need to see, do what you need to do. Uh, we've got the third floor here. Again, just another layer. So uh, we'll turn all the floors back on. And maybe now I do actually want to see how the walls are going to look in here. But, uh, you know, maybe not for the fourth floor. So there you go. I can see the walls there, the surrounding walls, the outer walls anyway, the structural walls. There's the kitchen walls. Again, I'm just using the layers to toggle the uh, first floor, second floor. So there you, now you can see the front door on the first floor. And I turn all my layers back on so we can see everything again. So this is sort of, uh, well not sort of, it is my current way of structuring the model to make it easy to work with. And uh, using outline and layers there is not really the most intuitive way, I feel like. Uh, there could be something better and maybe 
that is something called namesets. It's a, a project started by somebody else to sort of give a graphical interface to what I just did right there. But it would look better, it would be easier to use, it would probably be faster, it would certainly help beginners tremendously. So I want to give a uh, I guess a quick plug to name sets. So if you go to sites.google.com slash site slash name sets, you will go here. And this is his website that he set up for this project. And there's a ton of great information on here if you want to know what exactly it is he is talking about. Uh, his name is Chris, I believe. So there's a really cool video that you want to watch over here down on the left. It says uh, demo with SketchUp or something like that. And you definitely want to watch that video to get an idea of how name sets will improve what I just showed you. Okay, so that's it. Uh, as always, you can go to sketchyquestions.blogspot.com or you can email me at manofskill at gmail.com.